Video 13C, Flange Section Work Example Number 3. This is a textbook, Flange Section Work Example 3. Here's a question, you're given this section and the steel area. Determine the ultimate moment of resistance given the strength of steel as 500 Newton per millimeter square and strength of concrete as 25 Newton per millimeter square. First step is to calculate the compression at flange. This is the force formula for it. The force here is fill it with number. 25 is the strength of the concrete. 450 is the width of the flange. 150 is the depth of the flange. 10 to the power of min minus 3 is to convert the unit from Newton to kilonewton. We get the number FCF as 957 kilonewton. Keep it aside. Now calculate the steel force, the tension force in steel, assuming that it has yielded. Remember, yielded means you use the full strength. This is the formula. Fill up the numbers. 500 is the strength of the steel, assuming that it has yielded. 2592 is the area of steel in millimeter square. 10 to the power of negative 3 again is a conversion factor to convert Newton to kilonewton. You find that the steel force, the maximum possible steel force is 1128. Copy. If you compare the maximum steel force to the flange force, you find that the steel is has a larger force, which means we the concrete stress block must go below the flange depth. So the force this is the formula we have, which we have worked out earlier for the concrete at the web FCW. Fill up the numbers. Sorry, fill up the numbers. We know all the numbers except for the value of S, which is the total depth of the stress block. 25 is the strength of the concrete. 300 is the width of the web. 150 is the depth of the flange. 10 to the power of negative 3 again is the conversion factor. We add up, this is the value of the force, which is, the, which is dependent on value S. So we have the three forces and at equilibrium, they must add up to zero. So FST equals to FCF equals plus FCW. Put FCW, rearrange FCW to the left, you get this. Fill them up with a number, let me explain on this. This whole function on the left hand side is the one that we found out earlier. 1128 is the steel force, assuming that it has yielded. 957 is the concrete force at the flange. Resolving this, you get two answers. You find that on the right hand side is 171, which is the force at the flange. We also find that S, the value of S, which is the depth of the stress block, at, is at 190. So we put that aside. Now we know that X, S is 80% of X. X is fill out the number, where 190 is the one that we just found out. X is equal to 237.5. Why do you need that? We already show it out with D. Fill up the number. X is 237.5. D is 500. Ratio out, we get 0 0.43. Lesser than 0 0.45, which means tension still has yielded. So we are right to use the full force. Next, calculate Z1, which is the level arm for the concrete at flange. This is the formula. Fill up the numbers. 550 is the depth of the tension steel. 150 is the depth of the flange. Together, Z1 equals to 475 millimeter. Keep it aside. Now, Z2. Z2 is a level arm for the concrete at the at the web. This is the complete. Uh, this is the uh, deduction from that definition. Rearrange. You get this. Fill up with numbers. Where 550 is the depth of the tension steel. 150 is the depth of the concrete of the flange. 190 is the stress block. Put it together, it's 380. Z2 is 380. Record that. Now we take the moment of the centroid of steel, which is the combination as for force times level arm for both sections of the concrete. 
figure out the number because we got the number we, based on what we have calculated earlier. 975 is that what we have calculated to be the f concrete force at the flange. 475 is the first level arm. 171 is the concrete force at the web. 380 is the second is the second level arm. 10 power negative 3 is to convert, use a unit conversion. Put up together, it took, we get 519 kilonewton meter. That's, that's, that's the answer. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching.